This is one of Cluny the Scourge's Rome Total War online matches, and I am playing as the Greek city-states. I've taken six units of armoured hoplites, who form my main battle line. They each have the gold weapon upgrade. Behind them, for missile support, I have four units of heavy peltasts. And behind them, six units of archers, also with the gold weapon upgrade. Furthermore, I have four units of militia cavalry, that's javelin-throwing, skirmisher, light horsemen. My opponent, playing Armenia, is the amusingly named Fight Me Prince of Macedon. He's playing with four units of heavy spearmen, four units of Armenian legionaries, two units of archers, and six cataphracts, super heavy horsemen. He's deployed his infantry in two lines, presumably with the idea of fixing me in place with his heavy spearmen, then deploying the more mobile, uh, flexible Armenian legionaries around my flanks. So, as the battle commences, I deploy my militia cavalry to meet his cataphracts with the idea of uh, using their skirmish mode to occupy the attention of those super heavy horsemen, uh, the bulk of my opponent's uh, striking power, long enough for me to bring my infantry to bear against his and destroy them separately. He takes the bait, sends all of his horsemen charging after mine. He has great difficulty in catching them because uh, militia cavalry have the fast moving trait. Due to my mistakenly deploying those militia cavalry in columns rather than in broader formations, they are slow to react to the approach of the cataphracts in their skirmishing facility and consequently are nearly caught, but they make do. This was a mistake by my opponent. Uh, my militia cavalry posed no threat at all to his much more heavily armoured horsemen. He should have kept his cavalry closer to his main body and used them in conjunction with his infantry to achieve a success where it actually counted. Now he only has two units of missiles to my six and he fails to deploy them in loose formation which means there's no possibility of his winning a missile duel here. However I know that I only have so long before he realizes his mistake with his cataphracts uh, so I can't simply sit and wait for my archers to force him to attack me, I have to go to him. None of the Armenian troops are upgraded in any way. If he wishes to make optimal use of his forces then, he needs to envelop me. He makes a precipitate strike against my right hand uh, armoured hoplite unit with some of his cataphracts, which he separates away from those who are chasing my militia cavalry. This was far too early, he needed to fix my infantry in place first before he could use them. He wisely pulls those horsemen back out again, however he's taken unnecessary casualties. Having abandoned the futile pursuit of my militia cavalry, the remainder of his super heavy horsemen are now threatening my rear and my archers as the infantry engage uh, at the front. I'm going to need to react to the presence of those cataphracts in my rear pretty quickly, however or my opponent is going to be able to hammer and anvil each of my infantry units in turn and he will certainly destroy me. Now you see that in a frontal attack against uh, the unupgraded Armenian troops my gold weapon armoured hoplites are cutting them to pieces. He has the second line of infantry which he should be able to use to achieve an envelopment of me which will be made even easier by the fact that I now have to rush some of my hoplites back from the front line to serve in a holding action against those cataphracts to stop them from reaching the front. In practice, however, my opponent's attention is concentrated on the hectic activity uh, with his horsemen in the rear and consequently he doesn't make optimal use of his infantry. That second line basically just sits there for much of the battle doing nothing, waiting for me to chew through the front to reach them. Now I make a blunder here by sending my militia cavalry charging into those cataphracts hoping that I could fix them in place long enough to bring my armoured hoplites to bear against them and so achieve an early success against my opponent knocking out his cavalry component. Consequently I lose the bulk of my horsemen, some of them will regroup and become available to me again, however I now from this point have to fight the battle without their distracting and harassing capability. Half of my frontline phalanx troops have now been detailed to the rear together with some heavy peltasts in the hope of holding these cataphracts away from the front line. I really shouldn't have been able to get away with this. First, I've made the front so weakly held that the Armenian player should be able to envelop and destroy me there with some ease. 
However, his attention is entirely fixed on the use of his cataphracts and he simply doesn't notice what's happening. In a complex battle like this one, with fierce activity taking place in multiple locations, it can become pretty frenetic for a player panning their camera from side to side and rushing to and fro over the battlefield, trying to keep an eye on everything going on at once. And sometimes you can carry out dubious maneuvers without being pulled up on it. So the first line of his infantry has now been shattered and I'm working my way on to the second. This phalanx appears to be dancing the Oki Koki. The second aspect of this situation that I shouldn't be able to get away with is that my opponent's cataphracts, being cavalry, are more mobile than the infantry I'm using to hold them off, and if he had but thought of it, my opponent could have swung those cavalry around my delaying action troops, transferred them to the front line, concentrated and destroyed me there. Instead, he's trying to fight in two places at once, and is unable to do either. He makes repeated charges with his cataphracts against armoured hoplites, phalanx troops, and against massed heavy peltasts, serving in the role of light infantry, uh, whose numbers create the concerned by number of enemy effect in the hearts of the inadequately coordinated cataphracts. Now at this point, my opponent realises uh, the situation at the front, and begins what he should have done right from the outset, and attempts to envelop me. He's refused his flank here with this unit of legionaries to try to hold off uh, these armored hoplites while the rest of his infantry surround and destroy my units on the right. You'll notice that I'm fighting here with a very slight gradient in height advantage. That is because this map slopes from either side towards a crest in the center which my opponent did not attempt to dispute control of at the beginning, presumably for fear of rushing into my phalanxes. I really dig the capes those cataphracts wear, by the way. They look like superheroes, or possibly supervillains. At no point, however, during the battle does my enemy appear to realize the necessity of drawing them back to the front line, like Batman being summoned with the bat signal. And so my suppuratingly yellow Greek army sits grimly between the two pale green parts of his Armenian troops, like fermenting rancid mayonnaise in one of those pre-packaged sandwiches you get past its sell-by date, giving my opponent an unsettled stomach and the dire need to evacuate his bowels. As you can see here, he has unwisely uh, detached some of his infantry, one of his Armenian legionary units, from the front to try to support his ailing cataphracts in the rear. This is simply drip-feeding units away, and I come within a hair's breadth of enveloping those legionaries with my superior numbers and destroying them separately. However, credit must go to fight me, Prince of Macedon, for realizing his mistake and acting quickly uh, by pulling those legionaries back in time uh, to where they were needed on the right, where he finally managed to destroy this hoplite unit at about the same time that I had broken through uh, the refused flank that he had set up. Throughout, my opponent has displayed a propensity to uh, launch cataphract attacks against armoured hoplites in phalanx formation. Here he tries to do so uh, from multiple directions to achieve an envelopment. Perhaps if he had ordered his troops to use their maces by holding down the alt key and then right clicking to give uh, an armour penetrating effect, then that might have been more effective. Also, as here, he fails to concentrate his units and consequently I'm able to wear them down and rout them, even just using heavy peltasts and a few armor top lights uh, out of phalanx, by sheer weight of numbers overwhelming his morale. Now as you've seen, with his cataphracts in the rear finally defeated, I was able to transfer back to the front, envelop, and rout his uh, forward units and I have at this point essentially won the battle. So what mistakes did my opponent make? He should have ignored my militia cavalry with his super heavy horsemen. He should have fixed me in place with his infantry and sought to use his superior numbers to envelop before striking at them in a hammer and anvil with his cataphracts. And when I divided my infantry he should have ignored my rearguard and moved his cataphracts to the front.